What happens when the unstoppable force meets the immovable object? Well, let's find out. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Toys and James. As usual, I'm James. These are the toys. Let's check them out. And we're going to look at the Marvel Legends 80th Anniversary X-Men, the awesome Colossus, Colossus versus the massive Juggernaut 2-pack. And this pack is awesome. This Colossus looks so sweet. Like, I, I can't even... Colossus? This Colossus looks great. This Juggernaut looks great. Let's check them out. We'll take a look at the box real quick. Front, we get the window displaying both figures, a couple Marvel logos, the Marvel Legends up top, the Marvel 80 years on the side. You get the nice Marvel logo up top. On the side, you get some of the artwork of Colossus. Colossus. He's drop kicking the juggernaut, and he's pretty excited, and he's punching him again. And on this side, we get the juggernaut. Here he is saying, don't you know who I am? Busting through the wall. And him standing there menacing, probably saying something threatening. I'm the juggernaut. All right, very nice. And on the back, right in the middle, we get the awesome comic book look right here. The X-Men of them two fighting it out. If Colossus should fall, who shall stop the juggernaut? I don't know, man. Is it Nightcrawler swinging from chandeliers? Is it Storm cowering in the corner? Down there just like, oh my God, someone stop the juggernaut. Ah. I don't know, but we'll figure it out. And that's it's a really nice look at that right there. And on this side, we get a nice picture of Colossus. Colossus. A little uh, bio about him. A mutant with the ability to transform his body into metal. Piotr Rasputin left his farm community to join the X-Men and fight for good. Very nice. And on this side, we have the Juggernaut. Kane Marco possesses superhuman strength and extreme durability that allows him to rampage through any situation as an unstoppable Juggernaut of force. Very nice. Awesome. And let's open it up. And here they are out of the box, but standing next to each other with their little insert. Just to show you the size difference, this is one beefy two-pack. So we'll check out Colossus first. Colossus. Make sure to put your tractors away, because we're going to take a look at Colossus right now, all right? A Russian mutant, Piotr Rasputin, or Peter, <laughs> with the classic yellow and red suit that we all love to see him in. The power to turn his body into organic steel. We'll take a look at that very nice steel, this shiny, oh man. This is awesome. This is the Colossus suit. I remember this guy looks great. Just awesome. Like I just love it Let's look at this face the shiny metal face even the eyes are like metal somehow the eyeballs became metal But the hair still came through very nice with the arms hanging out the organic steel all the shiny steel throughout and look at the metal throughout, and look at the back. Nice strong back, nice metal ass cheeks. Bite my shiny metal ass. Nice legs, got the hands going, got some wristbands going. Got the nice X-Men belt. He's wearing these little, these little short shorts. Come down to these big knee pads on the boots right here, and as we come down, slowly into the feet. And this guy looks great. This is probably the best Colossus figure. He just looks really great. This guy looks like the Marvel Select Colossus, but the Marvel Select Colossus looks a little lanky to me, so I feel like this is a perfect Colossus to add to the collection. Yeah, he's definitely ready to save his sister in this outfit. Along with the two open hands, he does come with these two uh, fists, so you can have him punch and have some fist action. <laughs> Also nice with the nice metal and the veins in the hands. You can see the knuckles. Just really nice detail, honestly. And here's what he looks like flexing with the closed fists. And those are some nice organic muscles, comrades. And this Colossus looks great. I'm not going to get into articulation because it's so boring and I hate doing it. I mean, he bends just as much as you think he would. Bend the elbows, bend the knees yourself. I mean, I'm done twisting thighs and, and bending torsos. But, I mean, just look at him. Use your imagination. He bends just as much as you think he would. You can probably shave off a few minutes every video if I'm just not twisting thighs, all right? So I'm not doing it anymore. So you can wait and see for yourself what it actually does. But I will put it in some action poses. And here he is in an action pose, ready to fight, ready to punch, staring right at the camera, ready for action. Very nice. And there he is flexing on one knee. Here he is throwing an awesome right kick to the side. And here's Colossus standing next to another Colossus from the uh, Warlock wave. And you can see that this Colossus is a much brighter on the metal and the suit that we are much more familiar with. I don't even know what this other suit is right here. And that is the Russian mutant Colossus. Very nice. Just keep him away from your kitty prides, comrades. Very yes. <laughs> And with Colossus out of the way, we'll take a look at the Juggernaut. And here we have the massive and beastly, uh, what's this guy's name again? I'm the Juggernaut, bitch! 
All right, relax, fella, relax. I didn't forget about you, relax. This is the Juggernaut. And this guy's like a monster right here. Look at this. Look at the thighs are bigger than my thumbs. This guy is just a beast. That face, that face, got the chipped teeth, the white eyes poking through. This is an awesome Juggernaut right here. He's got the bands on his uh, biceps and on his wrists and on his, uh, over his hands here, like some brass knuckles. Got the veins bulging out. Oh, the details. The musculature, like this is awesome. Down to the big old boots. Look at this big juggernaut. He's not even a mutant. He's fueled by daddy issues and a hate for Charles Xavier. Powered by the Cinerac, he is all pissed off. And basically, Juggernaut just likes to bully uh, Professor X. That's probably why he started the X-Men, just so he had someone to keep this guy at bay. He's like, I'm an old bald man. Leave me alone. I must form fighters to protect me from this beast. And here he is in an action pose, posed up, flexing, looking muscly and scary. And I'd hate to run into this guy down a narrow hallway, I'll tell you. You can have Juggernaut on one leg and his charm charging pose, the unstoppable charging pose, very nice. Smashing that helmet through anything that gets in his way. He also comes with two other alternate hands, this open hand right here, and then like a gripping hand for strangling or other such things. So you can swap these out if you don't want just the fists. We'll just pull these hands off. And here he is with the alternate hands. He also comes with a head without the helmet, so you can look at Kane Marco with his black eye and his fat lip just all beat up. Look at this, the nice hair on him. Look at this black eye, this face. Oh yeah, this fat lip. Some great detail on here. It also comes with the busted up helmet. So we'll swap those out on him. You can pop on the other head. Oh yeah, and there he is. We got a nice look at Kane Marco right there, all beat up. And that's looking really nice on this body. And you can just position this. This is just soft, so you can just place that over there so it lines up with his eye. And there you have the awesome looking busted up helmet juggernaut. Just a nice little extra detail. I'd like to see a Kane Marco head that, you know, just a regular head not beat up and an intact helmet that you can kind of take on and off. That would be really dope. Here they are standing next to each other just to get some measurements. We got Colossus coming in at just under eight inches. And then juggernaut is just over eight and a half inches. Very nice. So these are some beastly figs. And here they are next to a couple other uh, 80th anniversary figures. The first appearance Wolverine and the Incredible Hulk. Awesome. I think the Hulk and Juggernaut are about the same size. And you can see how everybody towers over Wolverine. And here's the Hulk and the Juggernaut doing battle together. Just two big broly men. Two of the biggest, beefiest dudes going at it. And if we look over here, we have Colossus getting ready to catapult Wolverine. Awesome. To help out with the battle against the Juggernaut. And here's Juggernaut giving a massive bear hug to Colossus, squeezing the life out of this metal man. And just for fun right here, we have the unstoppable Colossus. <laughs> Very nice. Looking cool. Look at this guy. Nice. You just put Colossus' head on Juggernaut's body with the helmet like that, and you get the unstoppable Colossus. Colossus? Look how funny this looks <laughs> without the helmet on. Little rinky-dink head on this massive body. Or you could have the unstoppable Colossus look like this. You just put this helmet on him, and he looks cool like that. Something I will say is the feet aren't the best. I'm having a little difficulty standing them up sometimes, so that would probably be my only complaint about this figure. All right, you guys, well, that's gonna do it for me. This two-pack is awesome. I don't know how you can deny this two-pack's awesomeness. This is awesome. Probably one of the best, and it's just great to see these two figures here together. Overall, this Colossus Colossus is a serious improvement from, uh, from this Colossus right here. Even though this Colossus is pretty awesome too, he's got the darker shade of metal and then this suit that I don't even know what this suit is. So definitely nice to see him in a suit I recognize, the suit we all love him in. And then with the bright shiny metal, he just looks great. And then this pissed off angry beast juggernaut, like look at these thighs, look at these legs. He just looks like a juggernaut. It's because he is the juggernaut. This is definitely awesome. One of the best villains you can have doing battle and he's not even a mutant which is crazy. But he looks great, and I'm super happy to have him. All right, guys, well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more Marvel Legends stuff and everything else. I'll see you guys in the next one.